Hi, I'd like to give you a little bit of a walkthrough of the reporter lens in Slide Deck. It's one of our newer lenses and it was inspired by the original classic Smart Slide Deck lens. I'm just going to dive right in. Let's try this out with uh, some 500 pixels photos. So for this 500 pixels demonstration we start off with the toolkit lens. So the first thing I'll do is switch to reporter and once it re-renders we can see the default setup for reporter now this was inspired by the original classic smart slide deck as I said so it has a lot of the same information the title the number of days ago and the read more link below the description the image over here is also sized proportionally depending on the amount of space available most of these images here are landscape but it works with portrait images too as you can see right here now because Slide Deck 2 offers a lot more information than Slide Deck 1 did, we have an avatar and the name of the 500 pixels account. So that's the first thing I'm going to turn off. If we just turn off the uh, author, author avatar, we get a much cleaner look. If we wanted to rely on the permalink here of the title or the image and remove the read more, you can do that too. That gives us a really clean looking lens and we can also use a transparent background this is one of the uh, first lenses to do that but you can simply turn the transparent background on and no matter what your background is it'll show up really nicely now another cool feature of this lens is the different navigation styles you can actually go to the navigation tab and you can change it from titles to dots so you get that minimalist sort of iOS looking dots you can also change this to dates and you can choose an independent format for the dates right now everything's 57 days ago that's when we populated the 500px account but you can actually change that to 726 2012 and you get this date format down below but you still have the 57 days ago format up here and that's a pretty cool feature of this lens it's also one of the only lenses to use multiple date formats now if you only want to show very minimal information and in this example show off your 500 pixels images what you can actually do I'm just gonna hide the overlay what you can actually do is go to the content tab and you can say okay let's show title off link title off show read more off date format do not show this is the date format in the content area so basically everything's off right now show excerpt off with everything off and just the image the image the lens actually reformats itself the image becomes front and center and that's all you see if you combine this style with a transparent background and the dot navigation you get a really minimal looking slider that's great for just showing off photos and no matter what size they are if they're portrait they'll fit within the space and if they're landscape they'll use as much as they can now another cool feature this lens has is that it reflows depending on whether there's an excerpt or not. So if you turn the excerpt on with nothing else showing like this, this shot has an excerpt whereas the shot does not. So shots that do have an excerpt, the excerpt is shown. And shots that do not have an excerpt, the excerpt is not shown. It's a really good way to just showcase your work for what it is, just the photos and the text. If you turn on the title, you get the title and the excerpt, but there's another tweak. If there's a title and an excerpt, it's aligned to the left, the text is. If there's just a title, a title is required, so this image will have just a title, but it's, it's centered. It just looks a little cleaner that way. If we turn off the excerpt and we turn back on some of the author information, we can see that it centers the meta information for this photo unless there's an excerpt so if we were to turn our excerpt back on and then look at our preview because this has an excerpt it's all text to line left a little bit easier to read the paragraph form text but if there's no excerpt like the sunset it's centered so you can sort of take advantage of the space a little bit more and treat it more like a showcase I hope you enjoyed this overview of the reporter lens and we hope to have more of these videos for you in the future.